Now, the increasing price of crude oil that has resulted in fuel prices in transport fares going up has, on the positive side, also led to an increase in Ghana's total export. Provisional data indicates a trade surplus of $1.3 billion in the first four months of the year, compared with a trade surplus of $778 million in the same period of last year, an increase of over $522 million. Crude oil and non-traditional exports were the main drivers of the growth in export figures. But investment comes and incomes have taken out the country and net service payments have wiped out export inflows. Nancy Vulcania looks at the country's export performances in, as published in the Monetary Policy Committee report. Price increase in crude oil helps boost Ghana's export, but money sticking out by foreign investors wipes out the benefits. The increasing price of crude oil has led to a large extent an increase in Ghana's total export. Crude exports recorded significant growth of 61% to $1.9 billion due to the global price increase in the commodity, the same reason why we're paying more for fuel and transport. Gold exports improved by 3.6%, while non-traditional export receipts crossed the $1 billion mark. These developments far outweigh the 7.7% growth in total oil imports, and in total, our exports exceeded our imports, implying that we've had a trade surplus. However, the huge funds that investors take out of the country and other outflows due to low investor confidence have led to an overall balance of payments deficit going up by over 100% to $934.46 million for the first quarter, compared to a deficit of $429.93 million, same time last year. Now, gross international reserves at the end of April this year was low at only $8.34 billion, equivalent to only 3.7 months of import cover, compared to $9.4 billion, equivalent to 4.3 months of import cover by the end of December last year. Nancy Vokania, TV3 News, Accra.